Philippians 1. Paul and Timotheus, the servants of Yahushua HaMashiach, to all the Kodeshim in Mashiach Yahushua, which are at Philippi, with the overseers and deacons. Grace be unto you and peace from Yahuwah our Father and from the Adonai Yahushua HaMashiach. I thank my Yah upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you, all making requests with joy for your fellowship in the Besora from the first day until now. Being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Yahushua HaMashiach. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the Besora, ye all are partakers of my grace. For Yah is my record, how greatly I long after you all in the tender mercy of Yahushua HaMashiach. And this I pray, that your love may abound, yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment, that ye may approve things that are excellent, that ye may be sincere and without offense until the day of Mashiach, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Yahushua HaMashiach unto the glory and praise of Yahuwah. But I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the Besora, so that my bonds in Mashiach are manifest in all the palace and in all other places. And many of the brethren in Yua, waxing confident by my bonds, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Mashiach, even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. The one preach Mashiach of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the Besora. What then? Notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Mashiach is preached. And I therein do rejoice, yea, and I will rejoice. For I know that this shall turn to my Yeshua through our, your prayer and the supply of the Ruach Yahushua HaMashiach. According to my earnest expectation and my hope, that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Mashiach shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. For to me, to live is Mashiach, and to die is gain. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet, what I shall choose, I know not. For I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Mashiach, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of belief, that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Yahushua HaMashiach for me by my coming to you again. Only let your conversation be as it becomes the Besorah of Mashiach, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs that ye stand fast in the one Ruach, with one mind, striving together for the belief of the Besorah. 
and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of Yeshua and that of Yehoah. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Mashiach not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake having the same conflict which he saw in me and now here to be in me.